clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. Now we're going to discuss some of the tools that can be used in Kali for automating the passive information gathering process against a target domain. It is important to note that unlike Backtrack, Kali's predecessor, all of the tools in Kali can be executed from any location in the file system. So we'll start by opening up a shell, and then from any directory, we'll go ahead and we're going to look at the tool Dimitri. So to look at the various uses and proper syntax of Dimitri, we'll just enter the word Dimitri, once again, from any location in the file system. As you can see, there's a lot of different options that you can use for information gathering against a target domain. For example, we'll perform some reconnaissance against hackthissite.org. So to run this command, we'll enter Dimitri, and then dash I to gather the whois information, N to get the netcraft information, S to search for possible subdomains, and then E to enumerate any email addresses that can be located within the target domain. And then we want to specify our output with dash O, and then the name of the output file, so we'll use hackthissite.txt, and then specify the domain that you want to perform the reconnaissance against. So we'll do www.hackthesite.org. And it immediately starts gathering information. Once completed, you can use ls to list the contents of the current directory. And you'll see that your output file was placed in the same directory that you ran the command from. We can then read that output file with the cat command. So we'll use cat hackthissite.txt. And information in this file includes the whois information, a number of different host names and corresponding IP addresses. And it also attempted to locate email addresses, but in this case failed to do so. Another helpful tool for automating passive information gathering is GooFile. This is a very simple file enumeration tool that will search a domain for a specific file type using the Google search engine. So for example, we'll use GooFile, then dash D to specify the domain, and we'll specify our ftp.microsoft.com site, and then dash F to specify the file type that we want to search for, and then we can use any file extension. So we'll go ahead and try txt and that will return any text files located within that ftp.microsoft.com site. So that is how to use Dimitri to perform general information gathering against a target and GooFile to perform file enumeration on a targeted domain.